this is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. Harry and I <laughs> are here today to do an unboxing. I have had this kit for a while now. Um, this is Priscilla by Richard Lorenz at Diamond Art Club and this actually came out in the middle of June. So it's been sat in my living room for a while because you know I bought this on release day. I don't miss many Richard Lorenzes really. Um, yeah, and I haven't unboxed it till now, but I wanted to take a look at it with you today. Apologies for the glare from my lights. It is yet another dim and dreary day, so I've got to get the lights turned up. But it should be a bit better once I've got this plastic cover off. Harry's already got bored and left the room. He thinks all diamond paintings should feature cats. Oh, there's like a little roughed up bit in the box there but nothing that's going to actually trouble anything okay so this oh <laughs> it's heavy this is from diamond art club's first wave of this new style of boxes so it is the big chunky box which i'm so glad they've shrunk down because these ones take up a lot of space um but just to show you the kind of key stats i've got 84 colors including two aurora borealis and three fairy dust diamonds and there's 86,913 diamonds so it's a pretty big kit it's 65 by 83 so it is a good few centimeters off their sort of typical big big size paintings but it's also a bit bigger than a medium if that makes any kind of sense sorry I just knocked the camera <laughs> I'll have deleted that bit hopefully oof oh yeah <laughs> they were sealing them at this point as well all my recent unboxings have been the ones since they shrunk the box down so oof So yeah, I just mentioned the box size in case you haven't um, noticed all the changes Diamond Art Club have made recently and you're thinking, oh, that looks huge. You're only going to get one of these if you buy one from a few weeks of new releases earlier this year. Um, and then since that, they took this bit out, which meant they could shrink the box down. So yeah. Okay, so in my thank you for purchase booklet I've got a link to the VIP Facebook group I've got tips and tricks I've got save 20% off your first app purchase and if you have never bought from Diamond Art Club before if you check in the description box below I do have a couple of affiliate links for you I've got cat 20 for 20% off your first ever order and I've got cat 10 for 10 US dollars off or the equivalent in your local currency. So feel free to use those, obviously don't feel obligated, but make sure you always use a discount code when purchasing from Diamond Art Club. Even if it is not your first time, uh, your first purchase from them, there will still be discount codes available to you. I've got kit contents and I've got step-by-step step. and then in here, I have got my sticky labels. So this is your kind of logbook sticker these days. It's a bit smaller than it used to be, but it's still a nice picture of the image. So yeah, there is Priscilla. She's very cute. I wasn't too sure about her eyes when I first saw it, but then I just thought, embrace the crazy. That's what I love about Richard Lorenz, these crazy quirky birds with all their different personalities. And yeah, she's fun. I love her little parasol and the bright bits of colour in, in, in the flowers and her eyes. And yeah, I just love a Richard Lorenz, what can I say? So, as I said before, 84 colours, which is quite a lot, but increasingly that, that is something you see quite often with Diamond Art Club kits. They are starting to include more and more colours in their kits. Um, seems like they've got 100 as a planned maximum at the moment, I'm guessing. So those are the two ABs. We've got a blue one and what looks to be a sort of, is that, it looks kind of green, but I'm pretty sure 129 is a yellow one. And then I've got my three fairy dust. So I've got what looks to be a lime green one and then a slightly darker green and then a white, I would say. Nice clear symbols as usual. Some symbols that I, I have not seen them using before. I don't recognize that one or that one. 
because you know symbols get reused in in lots of different kits and yeah there's, there's some different ones in here cool cool variety is good and yeah really nice color palette i do love that so like most richard lorenzo's the background is fairly neutral in tones but this one has actually got some cool splotches of green through it as well so that will break up the background and then i love purples and blues so like her colors are just perfect for me okay i'll quickly show you the new toolkit because i think probably we're reaching a point where most people who who purchased from diamond art club at least will have seen this so in their toolkits oh, <laughs> oh dear <laughs> so um yeah they they now include putty as standard but some people really miss the wax so they started to include it again for them <laughs> i normally say oh heart-shaped pink wax but yeah this is barely a heart anymore it has got proper squished <laughs> And here is the pen. So you will notice straight away that this is quite different to your kind of typical freebie pens that you get with Diamond Art, well, with Diamond Art kits in general. Um, you get a four placer on one end and there is a seven placer here as well. And then the other end, this is their twist and pick applicator. So this pen, just waiting for my camera to focus, is preloaded with putty. And what you do is you firmly twist this. You do need to put a bit of oomph into it generally, although I say that, and this one's actually a bit easier than they can be. Don't twist it too much because you will find the putty kind of continues to ooze and you actually don't want any putty sticking out really. You just want it flush with the tip. Um, and that is what you can use for your single placer. This whole thing here comes out so that you can reload this pen with either their putty or wax if you prefer or a putty that you prefer, whatever you might like to do. Um, so yeah. Then I've got obviously the extra putty and I have got some baggies. And then the other big upgrade was this tray. So this is their new tray. It's quite a bit bigger than they used to be. The old tray from the old style of toolkits was maybe that big. So this gives you a lot more space. They are stackable, they have lids and they have stoppers. So they can keep your drills nice and secure if you want to leave drills in the tray. And I imagine some people once they've collected a few of these might find that they're a good option for actually kitting up into. It's not something I personally do. I prefer to use storage containers, but I know a lot of people like kitting up directly into trays. Okay, let me put those away. Okay, let's take a look at Priscilla. There was this real run of Richard Lorenz kits in June. I think it was mostly June. Anyway, there were, there were at least three I think no there were more like four different Richard Lorenz releases and then a slight break and then they did a Richard Lorenz mystery kit so it has been expensive I bought the three so I've shown you Ida's little flockers I have another one that I haven't unboxed I've got this one and then I bought the mystery kit and then there was one that I didn't get because it was huge and it was round drills and I don't mind round drills when I'm in the mood and if I absolutely love a kit I will still buy it in rounds because I don't want to be in a position where I can't do rounds at all but I have in recent months developed a pretty strong preference for squares so if I love the artwork you're still going to see me doing rounds but you're going to see more squares on this channel I think unless things change right I have messed that up there is gummy bits of glue hanging off everywhere So let's take a look. Okay, so here is the color palette. So 
So as is typical for Richard Lorenz really, there are lots of neutral tones for that background, but then there are bright pops of colour and I think that's part of why I enjoy them. I enjoy them because I, I enjoy the fun crazy images, but I also just find them so fun to work on. Because I'm someone who really likes a good mixture of colour blocking and confetti, what I tend to find is the background is, is often quite blocky and will go quickly, but then the middle bits where there is, you know, usually a bird, um, will have just all the detail and a lot of colour switching and all that kind of thing. So I just, I never seem to get bored working on a Richard Lorenz kit. Now, can I see any special girls? There is a fairy dust drill, a very pretty mint green. I like that. And then, oh, there's a yellow fairy dust drill. Not sure how well you can see that. And the white one. I see a blue AB just tucked away in there. Sorry, I'm not getting them out of the bag because I do find with these newer, um, what's, oh, I've forgotten my words. This newer style of boxes, I do find I'm more prone to not getting these rolled up tightly enough for the box, which always feels like a snugger fit. And then I have exploding boxes. So yeah, I don't typically get all the drills out if it's not a sneak peek. And there's a yellow. AB, so it was yellow, that's 129. Yep, geeky me knows her numbers. <laughs> I've actually seen very recently that Diamond Art Club has stopped this system of doing DMC codes under 150, meaning ABs, and they've started doing them as AB and then the DMC. I'm not sure why, and I haven't had any kits like that yet. Although I did see someone mention that DMC, the people who make embroidery floss that the whole colour system is based on, have started to use those numbers, so I guess that might be why. But yeah. Let's take a look at Priscilla. Oh yes, nice blocky background. I think she's big enough that I'm going to struggle to show you the whole thing in one go, but as always, I will pan over it so that you can see it all much more up close. Okay, wrong way, cat. Here she is. Okay, she is fabulous. Right, let me see if I can move you up so you can see the rest. There you go. She is so much fun. Do you know what? I bought this one because I buy, I don't buy all the Richard Lorenzes. As I've just said, I missed one from the recent releases and there are others even in squares where I've looked at them and thought, I love it, but maybe I don't love it enough when I've already got so many Richard Lorenzes. And I did divot about getting Priscilla. I wasn't sure, like I mentioned before the eyes, but then I thought, nah, she's cute. She's gonna go with Pernell, who I've got in my collection and all this kind of thing. And now I'm looking at it, I'm so glad I got her because she is adorable. I actually really like the new symbols as well. That's quite good to look at visually, really nice and clear. So yeah, as you can see, colour blocking all around the outside, those sections are going to go quite quickly. And then, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm seeing any intense confetti actually in this one. So she might be one that works up quite quickly, but there are more detailed bits in the middle and there's all those bright, beautiful purples and blues and her eyes are actually, they're gonna look spectacular, aren't they? I was on the fence about them in the artwork, but they're going to be fun to dye pink because they're gonna pop. And then what is that holding the little parasol? I think it's a little worm. <laughs> and there's a dragonfly too. They are cool. There you are, you can actually see it now. So yeah, it's a worm, that's this little worm body. And there's bubbles in the background that often are. She is so much fun. Okay, I'm going to pan over her so that you can see everything much more up close. But yeah, I think this is a really good one for people who don't enjoy confetti so much. Cause they're just, there's 
there's sort of line confetti if you like where within a section you're probably going to have to change colors quite a few times but you'll still probably be using your multi-placer if, if you multi-place um but yeah there's it looks like it shouldn't be too slow a project i always say this i'm notoriously bad at judging it i always think things look like they're more straightforward than they actually are once i get stuck into them but yeah i think she's going to be probably something that doesn't take much longer than you know a, a smaller kit a, a sort of classic medium-sized kit of around 70 to 50 centimeters okay right i will be back in a moment with a pan over her So there you have Priscilla. She is fabulous. Can't believe I divvied over whether to buy her or not because she has to be in my collection. Now she's here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will just take a quick look and find out where those special drills go because I know a lot of people like to know how much special drill action there's gonna be. It didn't seem like there were huge bags of them when I was peering through the bag, but it is hard to tell that way. So I've got symbols one and two for the ABs one being blue and I see little bits of it scattered through and then a fair bit here in her eye and then two the yellowy one I see a little bit up there in the worm oh and there's some in the background there actually oh that's the wing of the dragonfly actually I reckon and then just little bits like where there's a bubble here, it's being used to outline it so it'll be a bit more glowy. But yeah, not masses of that. And then I had fairy dust drills. So I've got this green arrow type thing. Or I'm going to say it's a yellow arrow seeing as I saw yellow fairy dust and also I've spotted it on the canvas and it's quite clearly yellow. <laughs> So the flowers are going to be fairy dust, which is really pretty. And then little bits elsewhere, like um, on her eyelids and the goggles of the worm, because what worm doesn't have goggles, right? And then this symbol here, which I have no idea how to describe, a green thing with lines on it. Now, where is that? There were much bigger bags of fairy dust drills than there were um, ABs, weren't there? So... There should be a fair bit of it somewhere. But where? Am I like not seeing it for looking or something? I do that a lot. Ah. Okay, so that is actually, it's this, but it's not printed the clearest. Um, it's sort of, well, when you look up close, it is, it's actually fine. But from even a tiny distance, they sort of look like one thick line rather than two thick lines. So in that case, that is actually a lot of the kind of green splodges that I mentioned being in this background bit are that fairy dust drill. And any more down there? Not that I can see. And then there is a dot on a white background for the white. And that one's pretty easy to spot. It's here in her 
sort of really colour thing and in her eyes and then the parasol the parasols can have fairy dust that'll be lovely and then this section here and some a lot of outlines and that kind of thing so a lot of the white one so yeah I wouldn't say there's a ton of special drills in this for a kit of this size but they've been used nicely as always I, I really enjoy Diamond Art Club's rendering of special drills I'm not one personally who likes to edit like I, I don't have the creative mind to do that and think and see that I could make something more appealing to me than how it's already been rendered so I always stick with what they've done but I, d I don't remember ever doing a kit and thinking oh, I wish they'd done more special drills in this or I wish they'd done less um yeah I just generally find they get it spot on so there she is there is Priscilla she is currently out of stock I believe, if I remember correctly, she did sell out quite quickly after release in the middle of June. But as we're getting on for three months later now, I mean, restocks can take anywhere between sort of three to six months normally. Sometimes they're a bit quicker, probably sometimes they're slightly longer. But Richard Lorenz is that they know are going to be popular. I'd, I'd be surprised if it takes a huge amount of time to come back. So if you do like the look of her, what you can do is go on her page on the Diamond Art Club website and enter your email address to sign up for notifications. And then they will let you know when she comes back in stock so that you don't miss her. Just in case she sells out quickly again, because you never know with popular kits. I'm sure they will get lots in, but sometimes they don't hang around that long. Oh, thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this with me and I am excited for Priscilla to go join my flock in the cupboard upstairs um if you have enjoyed this video please consider dropping a like on it and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you've liked what I've done here please consider doing that too I will hopefully see you again soon bye bye